Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I've got a Sephora haul. If you watched my recommendations and wish list video, you heard a few of the products that I was debating picking up. And if you saw that video, some of the products I'm about to mention will probably come as a surprise because they were not all on my list. And a few that were on my list, you guys talked me out of. So a bit of a plot twist here. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. And if you are new here, hello, my name is Kelly. Here on this channel, I love showcasing cruelty-free beauty. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into the haul. Okay, so you guys knew I wasn't sure if I was gonna be doing any Sephora shopping, but Magic Links is the company that I do my affiliate links through and they were very kind to send me a Sephora gift card. So I did go ahead and pick up a few things. Just like in all my other videos, I will leave links to everything down below and those will be magic links, which means that they are affiliate links. So if you do choose to purchase through any of those links, I will earn a small commission. So if you do shop through them, thank you so much, but always no pressure. If you don't feel comfortable with that, no worries. The first item calling to me is this one. So this, I was gonna say this is the only skincare. That's not true. This is a TikTok made me buy it item and I'm gonna be having a TikTok made me buy it video coming up, but this is from the, gr the grand, the, the brand Glow Recipe. This is my first product I'm purchasing from them. I do try to avoid fragrance in my skincare and their products are usually quite fragranced, but this product, it's rare that like one video can sell me on a product. Normally I'm like, okay, I'm into it, but let me watch some more reviews and let me look into it. No, this was from one singular TikTok of this girl with the best skin I've ever seen. She was like, this is how I get my skin so dewy. And she said it's through the Water Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. They're for glowy and bright skin. I gotta be honest, this is the least research I've ever done on a skincare product. Normally I'm like looking into the ingredients, wanting to be very particular. I fell into the hype, I did it. This was actually sold out at Sephora for a while and I was excited that it came back in stock. And this is glass too, so that's nice. Very cute packaging. It is very heavily fragranced, which I don't love, but We'll go with it. So you can kind of use that as skincare or as a primer, and I'll probably use it as both, but mostly as a primer, and let's hope it gives me the best skin ever. Okay, I finally did it. I bought the Natasha Denona Mini Zendo. So you guys know my obsession with the Natasha Denona five pans. I think the quality is amazing, and five pan palettes are right up my alley. Five pans, four pans, anything in that nature. So the mini Zendo was on my list and I went back and forth for a while because I do have mini retro and the color story is oddly quite similar, so I thought. But this one actually, like these shades in here pull a lot more warm tone. They're a lot more rose gold, whereas you have more of those cool tone pinks in the mini retro. So I do think they're different enough. Well, I haven't used this yet, so let me get back to you. But I'm really, really excited to have this. It's not often that I buy new palettes these days. I don't feel like I get that drawn to palettes anymore because I'm just like, you know, I feel like I've got pretty much every shade that I need. I'm always excited and inspired to do my eyeshadow, so I'm not always drawn to new palettes anymore just because there's so many palettes out there. But something about this one would not leave my brain, so I did it. Okay, a YouTuber made me buy it product. This was a Jamie Page purchase. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder, which by the way, I have been removing the sticker of these with my little cuticle pusher. Pretty effective. So I hope I got the right shade. I went with Breezy, which is supposed to be a sheer light. I mean, this might be a little light for me, but if it is sheer like it claims to be, I'll probably be fine. I don't know. I don't always get that excited about powder. I'm shocked that I bought this high-end powder. I'm normally the kind of person I'm like, a powder is a powder. There are a handful of powders in my collection where I'm like, mostly a powder is a powder, but this one is amazing. And I'm hoping that's gonna be the case with this one also. As my first time purchasing from Kosas, I'm really excited to try out the brand. I almost went with the their skin tint, their oil, the face oil, because I know Smoky Glow loves that one and she recommends it often, so I had that one in my cart and then I took it out and then I put this one in and I really flip-flopped back and forth for a while, but I was like, no girl, let's work through some foundations before you buy another one. You don't need another foundation. 
but I'm really curious to try this one out. And I like setting powders that are just blurring, but they don't look too heavy, but they still lock everything in, so. This feels really weighted and nice. I mean, I love the packaging. I could see it not being for everyone because this does it is plastic, but I like that it's kind of frosted like that. Okay, I picked out a little sample. This was an available sample to get. This is from Supergoop. They make my favorite sunscreens. My top two favorite sunscreens are the Supergoop Play, which is my holy girl I use pretty much every single day. And then the Unseen sunscreen, I like as my second favorite. That's what I'm wearing today, if you're wondering, not that you could tell because I'm wearing a full face of makeup. But I've heard a lot of people recommend the glow screen and I've been hesitant to purchase the full size of this because I've heard that it's very dewy. So I'm like, mm, am I going to like it? We'll see. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I want to say Jessica Braun loves this one. It is SPF 40. It is PA++++, and this is just a sample size, but this will get me through at least a few days of wear and then I can decide whether or not I want to go with the full size. I still love my play though. That's, I think that one's going to be my holy grail for a while, but let's try the glow screen. It might be good for summer. Between these two products, I'm going to be a glowy goddess. Okay, subscribers made me buy Moment Olaplex number three. I mentioned this, I want to say this and one other product were the only ones that I mentioned as a maybe and everything else just somehow made its way into my cart. But this one I did mention in my video as something on my list. This is the Olaplex number no. three hair perfecter. This is intended to repair and strengthen hair, all hair types. So this is a bond builder. It's supposed to be great for damaged hair, especially hair that has been processed, whether that's through bleaching or chemical treatments like a perm, chemical straightening. I've heard so many people just swear by the entire Olaplex line and I feel like I'm super late to the party to try it. So hopefully this will change my hair. I have been, it's not, my hair's not in terrible shape, but you know, the further down you get on the hair, it's been on my head for a long time. A lot of the pieces at the bottom have been bleached many times. So we'll see if this can do the wonders that I've heard. So I broke my no buy, but I also didn't break my no buy. And it was a subscriber comment. If I can find the comment, I'll pop it on the screen. Sometimes it's hard to find them when I'm looking through, but if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But I was reminded of a loophole. So on my product specific no buy, I've been doing these for the last few years. I pick out categories that I have enough products in where I want to slow down my purchasing and I put them on a list to say, you know what, Kelly, we're not buying any blushes. We're not buying any concealers, X, Y, Z. And one category on my list this year is blush. So I'm trying not to buy blush until June when this product specific no buy is over. But as I was reminded, this product is a hybrid. It's half blush, half bronzer. And technically, technically bronzer is not on my no buy, okay? Is this cheating? Absolutely. Am I proud of it? Mmm but I had to do it, you guys. I'm weak. You guys know how much I wanted this. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer. So it's half blush, half bronzer. Is it a gimmick? Probably. But am I excited? Yes. So you guys know, I am just, I really love Bare Minerals. All of their products call to me. Okay, first thoughts, it does feel really lightweight. Packaging is very drugstore, but I can work with that. The shade I picked up is the lightest one called Kiss of Pink. I'll be honest, this does not look like something that could be a bronzer for me. It, it looks very much just a blush, not that bronzery, but I'm still really excited to test this out. Did I technically rig my no buy? Yes, so I'm not proud. I had it in my cart, I took it out of my cart, I put it back in, and finally I went with it. This is the last time I'm going to break my no buy though, I promise. I pinky swear, nothing else until June, pinky swear. So I'll have all these products linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.